is it safe to climb Kilimanjaro? We get asked that question a lot, and rightly so. The short answer is yes, but... Hi, my name is Reto from Follow Alice. Climbing Kilimanjaro is considered safe, but you have to know certain things. Number one, you have to know what to expect and be prepared. Number two, you have to have the right equipment and gear. And number three, most importantly, you have to have the right climbing team and the right guides that guide you to the summit. In order to climb Kilimanjaro safely, it's important that you understand the potential dangers of climbing Kilimanjaro. Number one, you're in a very remote location, so if something happens, if you get injured, there isn't just a hospital around the corner. Number two, the weather is very unpredictable and the temperatures can be below freezing and it can get very cold on the mountain. Number three is the most important one and that's the altitude. Don't forget Kilimanjaro is 6,000 meters above sea level and is the highest mountain of Africa. So what's the problem with high altitude? Simply put, the higher up you hike, the less oxygen you inhale per breath. So for instance, if you're at sea level, there's about 20% effect of oxygen whereas on the top of Mount Kilimanjaro is only about 10%. So that means you need to function with only half of the oxygen. Now your body is able to acclimatize to these changes, but it needs time. So if you hike too quick, too high, that will result in what we call altitude sickness. So what's altitude sickness? Altitude sickness, or also called AMS, for acute mountain sickness, is caused by a failure of the body to adapt to lower levels of oxygen. So it happens if you climb too high too quickly. Now, when you climb Kilimanjaro, it's normal to experience at least mild symptoms of altitude sickness. That's no reason to panic. And mild symptoms could include uh, a little bit of a headache, dizziness, or lack of appetite. So the next level will be moderate or even severe symptoms of altitude sickness. Moderate levels could be, for instance, a pounding headache that doesn't want to go away, or severe fatigue. Severe symptoms of altitude sickness could be wet coughing, or fast and very shallow breathing. So if you experience any of these symptoms, you should be very careful. So for moderate ones, you probably couldn't ascend any further, and if you have severe ones, you probably have to descend. If you want to learn more about the different symptoms and read more about altitude sickness, I would recommend to have a read at our blog post. You can find the link in the description. How do you know if you have severe symptoms or just mild symptoms? Most important is that you have experienced guides that are going to monitor you all the way to the top of the summit. So they're going to ask you questions throughout the climb and they're going to advise you and explain you if you have severe or just mild and normal symptoms of altitude sickness. Another thing to add is that we also use pulse oximeters. So that's a small device that you put on your finger and you measure your oxygen level and also your heart rate. So we do this once a day and we see patterns and if there's any anomaly we can detect any issues early on. So the most important thing about Kilimanjaro safety lies in the prevention and the preparation. So that means if you know what to expect, if you monitor closely by your guides, most of potential emergency situations don't even arise. So you might wonder what happens if, despite all the measures of preparation and monitoring, there is actually an emergency situation. In that case, the first thing, if it's caused by altitude, would be to descend. 
in a very severe case, we carry emergency oxygen. So we would add emergency oxygen to the climber, which stabilizes the condition very quickly. It's important though, as soon as you use emergency oxygen, you're not allowed to climb any further. It's really just for emergency situations. There's also a possibility of air rescue in Kilimanjaro. It's very rarely happening though. There are a few camps where air rescue is possible. For instance, Barafu, which is the base camp the most route summit from. Now we're aware that in such a short video we can't cover the whole topic of safety on Kilimanjaro. But to summarize, Kilimanjaro is considered a safe mountain as long as you're prepared know what to expect and you climb with the right team. If you want to read more about safety, have a look at our blog post that you can find in the description. Or we'll also have a look at our interview with Chris, which is our lead guide and climbed Kilimanjaro more than 200 times. If you have any questions or anything that you would like to know, just put it in the comments and we're more than happy to answer it. Apart from that, I wish you all the best and a successful summit.